Hello, my dear Jurassic Legends. It's been a long while, but I'm finally here. And as you guys can see from this awesome t-shirt, I am prepared for today. So what is it that I'm going to be doing right now? So, I am bringing you guys, without further to say, I, I just don't want to speak like too much BS. And I'm going to straight to the point. The best toy for this Christmas is the Hammond Collection Carnage Horse. This is absolutely the best possible toy you can get to any Jurassic fan. Like, take a look at this. This is just awesome, dude. I don't know if you guys have already ordered this one. I'm pretty sure this one was sold out already. But hey, it is completely worth it. I mean, take my word for it. It is completely worth it. So we have this little guy right here. The articulation for a Hammond Collection figure is as always top notch and you can see in this particular case this one is this guy is just perfect it, i mean you like you just can see how this one does resemble like 300 uh, percent the actual model we saw in the fallen kingdom movie and the actual it also resembles a lot that photo characters you guys can see it also has a buzz eye so this buzz eye is going to be following you wherever you go looks so cool man this is wonderful so uh in terms of colors it is great i mean it has the same color scheme that it has in the movie and this has this white little belly here it's way better than all of the other kernels we've gotten and we have gotten pretty solid kernels so far but not as i mean not as good as this the detail the level of detail and love you see this and you say, hey, this is just love they put in this figure. I mean, how on earth do you do this without being like made out of cool love? It's just awesome. Uh, what else could I say about this figure? I mean, articulation wise, I mean, you guys can probably see how, <laughs> how many articulations this very bad guy has got. Even here in the feet, there we go. Uh, there is a minor, like say a major flop with this one that I'll explain to you later. It even has these little tiny arms. If you go like, uh, <laughs> oh man, that, there you go, the arms moment. <laughs> if I were the gaming giver and I had this voice, I would be doing something silly and saying something like to make you a laugh, but I can't say I'm not doing that. But hey, take a better look, a very good look at this guy. It's just gorgeous. I, I mean, I just can't hide it. I, I love this figure. It was completely worth my money, and I was lucky enough to be quick to grab a hold of this one. It was like, say, about three hours then later after I ordered this bad guy, it had completely run out of stuff. But it is worth it. It is not a small though. I, I do have a, a little Mandalorian here, uh, a Lego Mandalorian. Let's see the size comparison. So you guys can tell this guy is pretty large, but uh, it's completely worth it, my guys. Do not hesitate. If you guys get the chance, do it. I got it up for a very cheap price, I'd say, thirty-five dollars, shipping included. That's that's about what it took for me to get a hold of this guy. And in terms of almost everything, this guy is solid gold, entirely. So let's go now. Okay, stand there. There we go. You can stand there. Let's go to the scaling part. So I do only have three Hammond Collection figures. I do have the T-Rex, the Baryonyx, and this guy boy right here. So let's just start with the Baryonyx. You guys can see this guy is really, really small. I don't have the Velociraptors from the Hammond Collection line, so I'm figuring out it's even smaller than this. So if you stand them like uh, I don't know, feet to feet. I mean, the size comparison is just a little bit uh, unfair, you could say. But uh, man, this one's this one's a masterpiece. Even though this one's not too bad at all. I mean, the detail, the eyes. Even though the head is a little bit bruised, so it looks like that kind of doggo toy you would see on the taxis. <laughs> They're always like, hey, 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 hey. But it is very cool. Baryonyx is also a great figure of his life. Uh, but it can do something this kind of can. 
And I will tell you what it is about it. Okay. Let's size it up to perhaps the largest carnivore in the Hammond Collection line as of now being the Hammond Collection T-Rex. I'm gonna try it to stand in the same table as this one. This guy has got the tail a little bit loose. So, ah, there we go. Side step. And yeah, you can tell T-Rex is pretty massive. I mean, <laughs> yeah. That was like, kind of to be expected though. After all, this, uh, this, this very same T-Rex bully is this card on the movie. Uh, T-Rex having a uh, slightly loose tail, but I, I, I can't complain about this T-Rex, this is one also gorgeous figure. Even though there are lots of crybabies and snowflakes complaining about the size of the feet, but hey, snowflakes are snowflakes after all. <laughs> there we have it, this one's nice as well, this has also got a glass eye, and you can do this, with this thing with my, with my own there we go, because... <laughs> Alright. Uh, but is this one worth it as well? Uh, if you ask me, 300% nah, worth it. I do have this one as well, and... Well, I do have lots of T-Rexes if you guys have seen, have seen on my videos. But I love this one. I, I mean, I love it. I, I couldn't give a fuck for this. <laughs> I just don't need any. So, I just love this one as well. But it can also do something the kernel can. So let's just jump straight into what this kernel can do. So you can, like, say, uh, um, let's say, lift his neck upward, like when you scratch your cat or your dog, it's like, oh, you're a good boy, you're such a good boy. Yeah, you can do that. You can also place his head, like, if he's gonna be running something, he's gonna be like, mm, ah, there we go. But the one thing this guy can do is move his head sideways. I mean, you can try to move it a little bit, but that's just perhaps as much as it's gonna do. I mean, take a look at it. It just doesn't. It just doesn't bend there. I mean, it's gonna be something with the level of detail and articulation, but it just can't. <laughs> it just can't. What else? Uh, for example, uh, T-Rex totally can. I mean, you can take a look at this, even though there's another set of articulation here. And T-Rex can also give you this, this tear. It's like, what you doing? What you doing? And Baryonyx as well. Baryonyx can do that as well with his little neck. Though. I mean, you can flip his neck here, flip his neck here, do it some personal level look. Uh, we skip. Here we go. Whilst Kano can, it, I bet it sacrifices that level of articulation uh, with all these details, this amazing detail to be said. But it is worth it. I mean, again, if you guys get the chance of grabbing one of these, don't miss it. You guys are not going to regret uh, having one of these in your collection. It is almost perfect. I mean, it, it aesthetically is like actually the same freaking animal you see in the, in the movies and the games. It's awesome. It's 300% worth a try. So if you guys get a chance to get a hold of this guy, do not miss it. It will be worth it, trust me. Trust me, your money will be worth it. You guys will see this and say, hey, this was completely worth my money, even though it's not that expensive. The one thing is a little bit hard to get, but 300% worth it, my guys. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, sorry for being absent for so long, but I'll promise, so pinky promise, I'll be back soon with more content. And hopefully, uh, if I am like not actually coming back this year with videos, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. See you on the next video, guys. Take care.